Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. A little bit of a Purdue presence here. I know you're the Missouri State head coach, but you have deep Purdue ties. How excited are you to see your board? I'm going to call them your Boilermakers. It can be your Boilermakers this weekend. How excited are you? Con Conzo Martin, by the way, to see you. Uh Very excited, man. I mean, just to see these guys. I'm, my son is a walk-on on the team, but Matt Painter was a teammate of mine. Brandon Brantley was a teammate like a brother to me. Paul Luss and I grew up together. Elliot Bloom, I I've been knowing those guys for years, so that's a – that's like family, man, but to see those guys do what they're doing, because they put a tremendous amount of work into it, man. It just feels so good just to be here and be a part of it. How do you, how do you think that Paint has handled everything over the last year? Because obviously we know how devastated he was by the loss last season in the NCAA tournament, but he hit it head on, Conte. Did that surprise you how he handled everything? Not at all. But you, you know, you know what I, I think when people say ball is life. That's always been his life. I mean, when we were in college, man, as teammates, the Street Smith magazines, all that stuff, that was Matt Painter all the time. And he was one of those guys, as a young guy, he would say to Coach and Huddles, and I coach, and respectfully, Coach, we should try this because this guy's hot and that sort of thing. And Paint was a guy, he was a point guard at 6'6". Six, six. But I think just going through that, man, he understood that we have to go through this in order to get where we're trying to go, man, but with a tremendous amount of humility because, again, he's a student of the game, he's a teacher of the game. And he has a tremendous amount of passion for his job, man. So I'm happy to see the guy get here. How do your board make us get the win tomorrow? What's well, kicking? What, what, we, we all understand it's going to be a street fight. If, if we don't make it a street fight, it can get ugly. I, I think the one thing that we have, we have the best player in college basketball. And, and you're talking about a guy that if there's not two defending him, it's going to be tough for anybody to beat him because he's a phenomenal player. He has relentless focus in Zach Eady. He's coming at you the whole time. His condition is impeccable for that size. He has great hands. He makes his free throws. So you have to make a decision. Now what happens is, and I said this before, in a tournament setting, that second game is very tough against Purdue because it's too late to prepare for Zach Eady. All the time you realize it, you're down 10, 3 you, minutes you left in the practice. game. You, you they're, they're, So now if, you don't, if you're not used to doubling, you start doubling, they make shots. So again, it's, it's going to be a chess match with chess match with two phenomenal coaches. If you are, if you are uh, Dan Hurley, what what are you doing to slow down Zach Eady? Are you sending a double there? Because me me and Randolph were arguing about this earlier. I'm saying that you got you got to send two. You got to send help. Well, respectfully, <laughs> Dan said we're going to do it our way. You know that that's what happened. That's what makes him good because he has an edge and a grit to him. But if you're not used to doubling consistently. Now you have your guy scrambling in a situation, Purdue making threes, the crowd gets into it. Now your guy second-guessing and doubting because they said, I thought we were supposed to be the guys. And then they go into the locker room or late in the game, it's too late because Zach is, Zach is coming. He doesn't get in foul trouble. So you have to apply pressure on Zach every time down. So if your big guy's not assertive the whole game, it's going to be tough for you. Where does he stand for you? You've been around the game for a long time. I'm not going to date you, but you've been around the game for a long time, right? <laughs> Where does he stand in terms of the, the best players that you've seen at the college level? Well, with, with our Purdue family, all the basketball guys in the family, I, I don't say things on social media because my roommate and my brother was Glenn Robinson, the big dog. So, so we got to be careful there. I'm gonna help you with but, that. But, but see, let's start right and, there. And, and yeah, see, yeah. let's but, start right there. Yeah, see, mm -hmm. and he was phenomenal and, and just relentless with it. I just think we, in terms of big guys in the college game, if you say who are the best forward, and again, I, I hadn't done any homework, but Kareem, Bill Ward, if, if, if Ralph was a big guy, and I know Shaq and those guys were phenomenal, but when you look at numbers, production, I mean, Zach is one, two, three, or four, however you want to look at it. Now, Christian Layton, if you say he's a center, he's probably the best all around for his production and winning championships. So I just, he, he's got to be one of the top five of all time in that position. But I don't think you can put him in a category with you know, 15, 20 other guys. It's been great point guards, shooting guards, and all that. It's not fair to the game. Where does he rank in Purdue? <laughs> Let's go to Purdue. I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm not even getting into that. One or two. <laughs> it, it's where does he rank in okay. Purdue? Well, actually, Rick Mount. Okay. I mean, Rick Mount's up there. If, right? if I had to do it, and, and, and you can say, Zoe, you're coming off soft and all that. No, no, no. That's hey, I, I got I, I to gotta go with the dog because I've seen it up close and I've seen it every time down in two years of production, high level. And then, I, you know, Zach, but it's, but it's, it's, it's 1A, 1B, however you want to look at it, man. But Zach, Zach, the numbers across the board, when you're talking the production, he's had points, rebounds, block shots, man, there's never been a college player, in my opinion, that ever done that. So, but I, I can't, I can't get past my man. It's, I, I just hard for me. To, I can't do it. I that's the bias get, coming out, get, Randall. I, no, no, I can't get past it, and I agree. 
I'm angry with him because he cost me a lot of money. Because when he came out in 94 and he asked for that 100, they were like, no, 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 we putting a salary cap on these rookies. So, big dog, you owe me a check. You number one in my book, but you owe me a check. I have a question about big dog. Serious question. You don't see a lot of him. Yes. You don't see him. I don't, is he here for the The dog. Why? He's involved. Oh, he's involved. I, I can show you text streams. He's okay. involved. But you got to understand, dog, dog, as talented as he was as a ball player, dog is a humble guy yes. outside of family and friends. It really is. I mean, it's not like I, he, he loves Purdue. His son is going to Purdue. He'll be a freshman the next fall. So okay. he loves Purdue, man. He's just, he just a low key kind of guy, man, enjoying his life. Really? Oh, yeah. He loved, but he loved, man. It's this crazy, is, though, because you never, you don't hear hey, man, much. But, but, but again, goes. he was a guy, because he was so talented, people expect him to be out of the meeting and all that. He, he was just a guy that loved to play the game. That's he loved, loves rap music, loved making music, loved being with his family. That's who he is. Really? Yes. Really? He was, I mean, man. Yes. He, like, so give, give me a story. You said paint. When you guys play together, he would go in the huddles and he would make yes. suggestions every yes. night. Give me a story, because we see paint like yeah. even keel. Yes. Hurley's yes. out of his mind, yes. right? Give me a paint story of when he wasn't even keel. Give me something. It might be off the court. Something you remember of Payne. It might even be recent. Well, I, I would say, and again, Payne is not a guy that really chews on you as a coach. He's not going to chew on his, his staff as men. He's not going to really chew on his players. Now, he'll address situations. But, but, but again, I, I'll give you a story when we were teammates. And I used to struggle with Coach my freshman year because Coach, you, you take miss one shot, all of a sudden you're shaking, you're nervous. And Payne would just say, man, you can't worry about what Coach says. You got to play your game. You got to do this. And he would say that, man, and he wasn't afraid to say it. This is what you got to focus on to be good. And I ended up starting playing some of the small forward when Payne was the starter. And I, I remember when I was on the staff with him when he became the head coach, and he just said, man, you have to help me. You got to give input. You know, because I was just kind of sitting back and just kind of find my way. So he was aggressive. Hey, you got to help him do your part. So Payne, as successful as he is and intelligent as he is, he's a humble guy. And he's not one of those guys that say, look at me, I'm the head coach, man. When this season's over, we cut down the nets, man, paint a bit. The Cubs baseball games, he'd be on the lake with his family, man, just hey, low-key. He'll be throwing out a man, few that's, yeah. yeah, man, just, that's right? who he is. And he's about, he's about his guys, man. What would it mean for Purdue to win this national title? What would it mean for them to win tomorrow night? I mean, great question. But, man, I, I, I can answer for me. They've already won. Because you know what goes into this thing. I mean, Payne will be a Hall of Famer when he's done it, if, if he's done coaching. And Payne's one of those guys, man, have great success. He can do this five years, ten years, or he can quit in two years just because of the joy of it. So he's a guy that values what he's doing. He's love what he's doing. But for Purdue, Purdue basketball and all the guys, man, this would be phenomenal. I, I've said this about him, and I wanted to know if you, you know him personally in this. Doing it this way yes. in this modern times with a big man, after being bounced last year, yes. It's natural to have some doubts, and I yes. think so. You're saying him already winning is this part of it? Is this validation because he stayed committed to this style? No question. But because again, we, we, we keep this all rated PG and, the, and G for the kids. But but we also talk about the last 20 years and how he's done it. No, no question. Going against who he's going against sure. and stay consistent with how he's done yes. it. So we never talk about that. We talk about all no, the guys that no, win, no. but we never talk about this man was in the trenches, scratching and clawing, and the way he did it and stay consistent with it. We never talk about that, but that's what makes him number one. If if they win, we saw Paint and Robbie Hummel. They were crying after the game. Are, are you going to be crying too? We going to tears. Tear? I, I'm not afraid to cry. So that, that's, 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 that's nothing for me to see me cry. It's not that, but just it just man, it's just I'm so happy, man, because again, you know, man, you know what goes into it, man. It takes a lot out of you. So to even get to this point, it's like Shh, we made it. So it's all bonus to me, man. So you the best month of the year is here, which is why you need to know that we are partnered with Bet MGM. We'll be using Bet MGM lines for making all of our picks and predictions, and we'll have special offers for the listeners and the viewers of the Field of 68. If you haven't signed up for Bet MGM yet, you can use bonus code FIELD and you will get up to a $1,500 first bet offer on your first wager with Bet MGM. Here's the best part all you need to do is deposit and bet $10 of your hard earned money to get it. This is what you have to do to make it work. Download the BetMGM app and sign up using that bonus code FIELD. Deposit at least $10 and place your first wager on any game. You'll get up to $1,500 in bonus bets if your bet loses. Just make sure you use that bonus code FIELD when you sign up. Most importantly... 
We have some fun stuff coming up for the rest of the NCAA tournament. Bet insurance tokens, college hoops odds boost, and the thing that I love the most, a nice little parlay boost, as well as a ridiculous array of prop bets for anything that you could possibly imagine betting on. From odds on getting to the Final Four to national championship futures, I'm calling it right now. BetMGM is the king of the prop bet. So go download the BetMGM app. Use that code FIELD and sign up today. And while I've got you a quick request, the best way to support the Field of 68 content you get for free is to engage with us. Rate and review the pod in any podcast app. Like and share the YouTube videos that you enjoy. Tell your friends about us. It all helps in a world where the algorithm is king. And now, back to the show. 